Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to pump out a video as well here on um, the 11 sectors that make up the U.S. market. It's basically all the stocks uh, and ETFs that are in the U.S. market fall under one of these 11 sectors um, that we're going to go over here. And this will just be a sector report. I'm going to do this rather quick just to give it, and these are all daily charts, just to give an idea of where the sectors are. Because, you know, the SPY is the main asset of the uh, US markets and then under that everything's broken down into sectors. So here we have the utility sector and this was the most strong, uh, the most strongest um, name today in the sectors up 1.77%. When you see utilities rallying, usually they're just, you know, boring stocks that go nowhere. When people are nervous or when risk is off, utility stocks tend to rally. And as you could see, this is a big green bar today to start September, um, right out the gate. So that's definitely um, not a good sign for the markets. In the markets, I'm talking SPY, IWM, QQQ, those tickers, uh, those underlyings, what have you. So the leader today was the utilities. Second place goes to real estate, another risk off flight to quality asset. Um, utilities and real estate um, tend to rally when you know shit is hitting the fan possibly, or when interest rates are low, you'll see those get bids. And as you can see, today we've had utilities and real estate rallying. The third uh, ETF that was rallying today and finishing place number three is consumer staples. And these as well are things that rally when the market is weak or when the market you know, is feeling toppy or when there's fear present. Uh, and again, these are stocks like um, Coke, Walmart, uh, let me go look at my list. Procter Gamble, everyone uses that. If you use toothpaste or shampoo in the US, it's probably made by PG. Coke, Pepsi, Walmart, Mondelez, they make Triscuits and crackers. Costco, we all know that everyone shops there for the bulk quantity. And then MO, Altria, this is SIGS. So MO got destroyed, but again, when people are, when people are, when, the, when investors or traders are nervous, they usually fly to quality. Or they go to you know defensive names versus cyclical names, and defensive names are again um, defensive sectors I should say are consumer staples, real estate, and utilities. And again, you could see um, these are rallying. Why? Because we're all still going to have to have our lights on, and we're all still going to have to pay our utility bill, and we're all going to have to buy shit to eat uh, and clean ourselves. So Coke, Pepsi, Walmart, all those be benefit from that because even if you're broke as a joke, you still got to drink your Coke, maybe snort some too. And you know, you got to buy your groceries and smoke your cigs. You got to buy your alcohol, things like that. So that's why these stocks are rallying. So we'll see anything can happen. Again, these are daily charts that I'm checking out. But as you can see, um, pretty much the defensive stocks are rallying. Um, this was the first red sector today. This was uh, consumer discretionary, which this is uh, what Chipotle, Tesla, uh, as you can see here, Amazon, Home Depot, McDonald's, Nike, Lowe's, Starbucks, uh, booking, which is traveling, which used to be um, Priceline. So Starbucks, as you can see, when people have money, but not as much as they usually have, maybe they skimp on that coffee, maybe they skimp on that home improvement. I don't know, McDonald's, they're always going to eat because it's nasty and cheap. Um, and Chipotle, I don't know who eats any of those places, but to each their own. Um, and then Nike, you're not going to buy your Nikes, your Jordans. And same with Lowe's. And you're, you're going to pass on your Camar Macchiato, Gavente Grande, what have you. And definitely, you're probably not going to be traveling. So this could go either way, but consumer discretionary um, finished. The, it was the best of the worst performing today of the sectors. Energy, this is pretty much any oil name, any energy name. Again, oil's been beaten up, so this is just basing. It's got a it's it's got a higher low here, so that's a good thing. It gapped down, but it had a a big a bullish candle today. So you know, and the lows are here, and we have higher lows here. So that's a good sign if if you're bullish, um, you know. But again, this trend is down. Energy is still weak across the board. Healthcare, healthcare has just been sideways, but lower highs as well. Again, healthcare. These are Johnson and Johnson, Pfizer, United Healthcare. Um, uh, what is it? Mer um, Merrick. What's MRK? 
Merck, 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 sorry. Merck, uh, Abbott, and MDT, which is another um, health company. So this, as you can see, looking sideways, um, just making up its mind, just like the indexes. It looks just like SPY. It's sold off, pop, sold off, pop. We're just building value, determining where the next vol, vol expansion is going to be, up or down. Uh, time will tell. Maybe a tweet will tell. Materials. This is the material sector, which is making lower highs. This is a lot of gold and metals and you know steel stocks. Um, and also these, um, Dow, PPG, BLL. Pretty much any beer can you drink is made by BLL, I believe, Ball. Uh, PPG is the paint company. Um, Sherwin Williams. This isn't really a you know a cute sector. It's kind of boring and dull. Um, but again, we got lower highs here. Communications. This is Facebook, um, Google, Google, Comcast. As you can see, this is basically in a hit or miss range as well. So I'm just watching this. So yeah. So communications. Again, just like SPY, either way, really you don't have an opinion. Financials, same thing, either way. This is mostly bank stops. Bank of America basically makes up most of this. JP Morgan Chase uh, and a few other banks as well. But again, similar price action where you're not really, we're not really going anywhere. We sold off and then just chopped. And then here's the tech. Tech is making higher lows up, a little bit stronger. But again, the trend, the trend is up here. But maybe we're starting to reverse. Again, this is tech stocks, which is Microsoft, Apple, Visa, Intel, Cisco, uh, MasterCard, and Oracle are the main ones that make up this sector, um, which Microsoft and Apple, of course, are the beast. Um, so yeah, lower highs here, higher lows here. This is a wedge pattern, basically, triangle, bear flag. We'll see what's gonna happen here. And then the worst performer today in the sectors was XLI. Um, which XLI is industrial stocks, which this is um, things like Boeing, uh, American Airlines, um, things like that. Let me just put a line here because if this breaks, I'm going to short this. Um, but let me see what's in here. Yeah, so Boeing, MM, 3M, which pretty much makes you know everything that you buy at Home Depot as well. Union Pacific, Railroad, Honeywell, I think they do appliances. UTX, uh, I can't remember. Cat, Caterpillar, they make all that heavy machinery. UPS, of course, and FedEx, General Electric, uh, Lockheed Martin, and uh, CSX, which is the railroad company as well. So you got railroad companies in here, Boeing, mostly transport type deals, um, semi-truck companies, things like that, um, which these need to be rallying if there's growth in the market. So most of this is Boeing, um, which I trade a lot of, um, Boeing. But anyways, you can see the same pattern though. Down, up, down, up, down, up. That's why when you trade these, they're kind of one big trade because if you trade SPY and these, they're gonna move pretty much identical. And just to go through these real quick before we end, there's XLU. You can see it's not looking like the other ones. You can see real estate's not looking like the other ones. You can see consumer staples are not looking like the other sectors. This is where they start to kind of look the same. We got consumer discretionary. We got, again, by the same, I mean the down leg, the up, the down, the up, the down. So the down leg, up, down, up, down. You know, so there's, again, staple, consumer discretionary. You see the leg, down, up, down. Energy, leg, down, up, down. Healthcare, leg down, a little bit more choppier, down, up, down. Materials, leg down, a little bit more choppier, but still leg down. This had a bit more of a gap up, but it's still same same situation going on there. Communications, down, up, down, up, down, up. Uh, financials, down, up, down, up, down, up. Um, tech, down, up, down, up. This one's a little bit stronger. You know, it's making higher lows, but still the same pattern. And then again, XLI, down, up, down, up, down, up. So anyways, guys, this is just a quick 10 minute video pumping out the um, 11 main sectors that make up um, the US market. So anyways, uh, check out the links in the description. Don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned for future videos and definitely check out Vimeo because that's where all the content is going to go is Vimeo. So certain content is going to overflow to YouTube, um, but most of it's going to be on Vimeo. So check that out. All the links are in the description as well. If you have any questions, comment below or get at me on Vimeo. If you found this video helpful, 
give it a like as well. Again, I'm trying to trick these algorithms to grow this channel. Um, so if you have any um, have anything good to say, uh, please get, keep, please comment below. If you got to hate, take that stuff somewhere else. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trading.